afternoon. I'm Keith Moore, Associate Program Director for Barry University. We're here this afternoon with Dr. Galibert and one of our students to talk a little bit about the program, what the experience is like, uh, especially from the clinical point of view. Dr. Galibert, uh, would you like to say a few words about what the experience is like as a preceptor for the university? Sure. I'm Dr. Dante Galibert, we're a cardiologist at the Governor One of Lee Hospital. And the One of Lee Hospital is has a relationship with Barry University, where Barry University provides us with students that we can work with. And I've had a great uh, interaction with the students, and I've actually interacted with four students so far. And they've actually done the rotation in cardiology with me at the other one at the hospital. And they've also worked in my office as well, too. So they do a lot of work, a lot of hands-on work, examining patients, talking to patients as well and reading EKGs with me and echocardiograms as well too. We also look at heart catheterizations, so they get really a whole gamut full of procedures that we actually do in the cath lab and also in the echo lab too. And so they really get an excellent experience doing cardiology at the Oklahoma Hospital. So during the 28 months of the program, it's in uh, actually three phases. And the first phase is in the classroom. Uh, we may have a little chance to view a physical diagnosis session this afternoon. Uh, our student with us today is Stephanie Horning, and uh, she excelled in physical diagnosis, so she's actually a teaching assistant there. Stephanie, you want to comment a little bit about your experience in the first year of the program? Sure, the first year of the program was intense. It was like drinking out of a fire hydrant, for sure, when you come out of the pre-med sector. But it was extremely fun. Um, we learned so much, everything that we ended up correlating clinically. We definitely had great introduction for the material in the classroom and the didactic here. And we ended up applying many of those concepts in all fields, whether it be internal medicine, OB, pediatrics, surgery, ER medicine. One at Louis Hospital is our primary training partner in the Virgin Islands, and we're very happy and proud of that. Uh, a lot of the experiences are in the hospital, and many of them occur in the physician offices of Dr. Gallagher's. Um, Dr. Gallagher, tell us just how the average day would start with you and the student. The average day would start at the Governor Water Food Hospital, and we do rounds. And so we'd see our patients and examine our patients and then write notes. And oftentimes we'd interact with other physicians too, especially the consulting services. And oftentimes we'd also look at x rays as well. So it's really just a whole gamut full of interaction that the student would have with the entire Wanoli Hospital staff, medical staff. And then in the afternoon, the student would come down to my office and we'd actually see patients in the outpatient care center in my office. And the students would examine the patients and interrogate them as well, do the interviews, and then present the patients to me as well too. So it's, I think it's an excellent learning experience for the students. They get to do a lot of didactic, uh, they get a lot of didactic training and also on hands training to see patients. How do the patients react to having students in your office? They, they thoroughly enjoy it. Actually, they would rather have the students than me sometimes. <laughs> and so they, uh, the, the patients are, are excellent, and, and the students really enjoy seeing the patients too as well. And so we have a number of excellent cases that we've seen in the recent past as well. We see a lot of heart attacks in the Virgin Islands as well too, and individuals who are heart failure. And Stephanie, uh, I mean, do you share that same thing that the patients are accepting of you? Absolutely. It's the culture here has been so welcoming and have opened their arms to us in every means. As far as having a student, I can't think of any other place, any other time where I've ever been, you know, refused to go into the patient's visit. I've always been able to go in, which is exciting. Uh, we're not competing with a whole bunch of med school students or other programs down here either. So when we're there. We often get to be right by the side of the doctor, um, often who is the attending, who takes us through and guides us and trains us a lot. So this experience is not just what you experience with Dr. Gallagher, but most of your rotations are all there. Absolutely. Yeah, we've been able to be first assist on many of the surgeries. We were able to help deliver babies. Um, we definitely weren't standing back with a 10-foot pole, which was great. Um, plus, we were able to extend our services to an underserved community. The program here is only, uh, it's just coming up on its third year. It's your, our first class, Stephanie's a member of the first class, will graduate in December. Um, 
we've had very good experiences with the medical staff at Waterloo. Um, and as far as I know, that, that support remains strong. You're a member of the medical staff. Uh, what are the doctors and nurses and people at the hospital saying about the students? Well, the other doctors really enjoy having the students and because they're, they're helpful and they're intelligent students. I, mean, I would say that Barry has done an excellent job in selecting very highly qualified students to their institution. And so, but the students get to do a lot of procedures, especially in the OR. They get to scrub in and, and they get to watch us put in central lines, intubate patients. And those they intubate patients uh, with our assistance as well. And so they get to do a lot of procedures too. And I think that's really key for a lot of these schools that we have. Would you say, uh, in terms of their preparation, what, what the book work that they've done, like that type of learning, um, they come to you well prepared? Do they apply it well? I can tell that they're very well prepared because the questions I ask, they always get the answer right. And so I know that they've been studying, and, and the students I've had, they're always studying, they're always reading as well, too, so they're keeping up. And, and actually, Stephanie was my first student, and I was taking my board exam last year. She was helping me study for my board exam, so that's going to be really tough questions, too. So. <laughs> That's good. Maybe we can get, you can help me pass my recertification exam. Yeah, there you so go. We'll see what happens there. In terms of uh, what you see in the future for physician assistants in the Virgin Islands and elsewhere across your field of cardiology and physicians generally, what does that look like to you? I think it looks promising. And we actually have two physician assistants who work in the intensive care unit, and they are essential to our service there. And they really make things smoothly. Run, things run very smoothly when we're there, and so they can put in central lines, they can do procedures as well, so they keep us abreast of what's going on in the attempt to carry it. And that's what we really need, because we're busy doing other things too, and reading after programs, reading the keys, and working in our office as well too. And the curriculum includes a lot of preventive care, Healthy People 2000, 2020, I guess 2020. Um, do you find that you can, that, that wellness and that preventive uh, information that you give out is well received? I do. I think, you know, we have a whole different culture in which we have to educate, which I think anywhere we'd have to educate no matter what the culture is and what the society is, but really it comes down to how well your education is and how well you're addressing your patients here and that whether or not you incorporate everything they believe in. It really helps guide whether or not they're on board with you or if they're going to pull back. I know that the students have been involved in some volunteer activities. There's a, a heart walk this Sunday, I believe. Um, what's your experience in terms of the student body itself, the student governance? You, you're a class president, obviously, so you have some experience with that. Right, so our, our class has been able to actually get out into the community, and we've been able to, I know I worked with Dr. Gallagher and doing a whole bunch of different physical exams for students who wanted to play sports, and we nailed 45 physicals, was it, in a matter of an afternoon. Yeah, afternoon. And it was yeah. incredible just to work with him. Yeah. yeah, and we just, we had great teamwork. Um, so we definitely volunteered there. We've been able to get out in the community at the local health fairs. Um, and the ag fairs, we've also been able to do blood pressure checks, glucose checks, a lot of education we've spent. Um, Pretty amazing that spending time and sharing all of this. Be in school and get all that done. Sure. Yeah, and so. we're we're able to share the education that we receive with the community that has just loved on us and all stuff. And when you've been out in the in the general community, not necessarily you know dressed up with your your white coat and your stethoscope, um, how do you find that in terms of uh, just being out in the community and that sort of thing? Everybody's part? so well received. Everybody receives us just. I can't say it enough. They're just so welcoming to us and so loving. They love that the program's here. They're very excited that the program's here. They see need for a program to be here. And it's been fun seeing everybody out in the community. Right. And uh, Dr. Gallagher, if there was something, uh, you know, in terms of making the program grow, uh, or things that you would like to see us do uh, as, a, as a school down here, what would it be? I would say that, you know, we just need to have more students come down and maybe we can entertain doing some research as well, writing research papers, and I'm really interested in doing that as well too, and I think we definitely need to have the patient population for that. Uh, one of our goals really is to put more effort into recruiting uh, students from throughout the Caribbean. Uh, we would really, the, the 
program is so that people can train in this area and stay in the area after they graduate. And uh, it's, it was somewhat surprising to us that so far um, we have two students from the mainland who will graduate this December, three the next December. And so that's what we're really looking to do because where your heart is, is where you want to stay. And usually where your heart is, your family is. Um, not always, but uh, most of the time. 